What is going on everybody? Today it's your boy Carson here, and I am very excited to be back with a new video review. This time we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing something a little different. Instead of doing Transformers The Last Night, we're gonna be reviewing a new series called Power of the Primes. So this is gonna be part of a Power of the Primes series. So um stay tuned for more. And before I start this video review, I have an important announcement. Um I think in my next video I will be I will finally be revealing my face. But if some of you if, if some of you have, have already seen my face in my previous channel, Iron Raptors 20, make sure you write this down. Uh, it, it's a little goofy. The channel's a little goofy. I was like two years younger and my voice was higher and like I was like crazier and all that. It's just, you know, just just if you want to check that out, it's fine. Just go ahead. But my next video, I will finally be reviewing my face. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And without further ado, let's uh, take a look. Let's get down to the video review. So today we're going to be we're going to be looking into a Power of the Prime series, which is a 2018 series by Hasbro. And today <clears throat> we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Power of the Primes Legends Class Dinobot Slash, who I think looks absolutely great looking. I absolutely dig this character. Um, she is. Let me uh, just focus a little bit. Let me, just, let me see if my I'm not sure if my camera is smooth or not, but I, it looks it looks smooth. Um, smooth. Let me just there, oh, there we go. That's that's nice. And oh, frick, my phone is repositioned. All right, this is good enough. It's my camera's my tripod is a little goofy, so just ignore it. Anyway, so this is Power of the Prime slash. Um, you're probably wondering why isn't there any um any uh any, any packaging? Because um I already opened this figure up and I already I was like, I tossed the package out because I totally forgot that I was doing video reviews for some reason, which is pretty stupid if you, of me, if you ask me. Um, but, um, I just, I threw the package away and, like, without even knowing I was going to video review this, this, this figure in, in the near future, I was like, no! But all I can tell you is that the packaging is pretty cool and it actually tells a little background. Um, all I can, t I can all I can tell about the packaging is that it's very, very simple. It, all it says on its honor bot on honor bio. Yes, I said her, since this is a female. Um, it it just said that it, um it just said elite tracker always finds her target, which is pretty cool. I really did that. Um, and then like just so it 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 came with the collector card, and I have that stored away somewhere. It's in like one of my it's in one of my boxes or something. I don't know. But that was it for the packaging. Then now we we already have slash open. So um, yes, she's in robot mode. But um, I'm just gonna start back in um in vehicle mode. So stay tuned for this in vehicle mode. Or I shouldn't even say vehicle mode. We're like Dinobot mode rather. And here is slash back in vehicle mode or Dinobot mode rather. And um, it's a pretty good looking Velociraptor mode. Um, I guess that's what she is since you know. She, um, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so I can bring her in closer. Cause like, if you look like right here, um, she has like the, um, pointed toes with like what, which, what, which is what the raptor had. Um, posability wise, she, um, her, um, her legs, they can move up and down. And if you want, you can just like bring her heel up. That's actually part of the transformation. Bring her tail up if she's like, you know, excited or something. Uh, you can swivel her head, like, if she's looking at something, and, like, open her, what the heck, there's, like, a, and, um, her, uh, jaw, she does, um, her lower jaw, I can go up and down, all that, um, Di Dinobot arms can do a full, um, 360 degree stuff, or whatever that was, um, not bad, actually, I really, I really dig this, this thing, um, Unfortunately, um, for <clears throat> right now, I don't have one of the, I don't have a uh, little Titan Master figure to scale with since that's technically like the only thing to scale with aside from a Legends class figure. Um, but I will tell you that like you can actually fit like a little Titan Master dude, which is like a, which is like a little Headmaster figure. You can actually like, flip up this little section here, which is part of the transformation, and then just like you know store them in here. There's actually like a little hole. At, Pegs in like right in that in that in this little center slot right here, and then, like you can have them, like on a throne or something. I don't know, but like 
It's pretty cool. So there's Slash in her um in her Dinobot mode. <clears throat> so without further ado, let's get down to the um transformation for from Dino, from Velociraptor to Dino to um to, to robot mode. First thing what you're gonna do is you're gonna um pick up this uh, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna flip this thing back, flip, flip this little flap back, and then bring this entire section here, collapse this down, and then bring the head in just a little bit, and then take this entire section here, fold this up. Collapse that down, and then fold the uh, dino um, arms up like that. <clears throat> Next, what, you want, what you're going to want to do is you're going to oops, disruptor. Next, what you're going to want to do is just bring the arms out of the way, um, like this. And then you come to, and then you come to the uh, to the legs. You're going to want to um, take her legs and then just fold them down. And you're gonna um unpack them, rotate at the knee or like at the thigh or whatever, the thigh. Just rotate them both, and then ro rotate the uh, little heels down just a tad. Like just rotate them down until you hear like until you hear like a little click sound. That'll that'll make sure when it's pegged in. So, and pretty, you pretty much have the entire body already done, except you want to bring her little um dino feet here and then just. Unpeg them and just fold them. Oops. Just, and then you want to fold them up. Do the same with the other one. Bring the arms down. And when you're done, there you have a Dinobot Slash in her pretty cool looking robot mode. And I really dig this figure. This figure is like really, 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 really good looking. Um, one of the uh more famous video reviewers called Optobotomus, he, um, he put, um, this figure in second place for Legends class figure. Um, the first, the first place one was the, um, Beachcomber, if you guys know who that is. Um, but overall, I don't really care about, this is like, this would be like first place for me, because like, it's accurate in size, goes well with other, like, Dinobot figures. It's not too big, it's not too tiny. One thing I will, I am a little stumbled about, I am stumped about, is why it's a fe it's why Slash is a female. Um, which is strange, because S Slash was a male Dinobot in, um, Age of Extinction and, and The Last Night. He, di he, didn't, he didn't appear in, in any of the, in, in both of the movies, but he was a action figure, a toy, in the films. So I wonder, I'm not really sure about that part. Though I would really, I would really like it if Slash is a female, was a female in the um, Last Night and Age of Extinction line, it would make a, it would make a whole lot more sense, really. And um, I think that just like brings, I think that's what makes this thing a little more feminine. Is like, is like it's not only is it a Dinobot, it's also it's also a Raptor. I guess that kind of brings out the more feminine look to it. I don't I don't know, just I don't know. Either that or like the well or a well detailed uh, face right there. I don't know. It, it's it's a good looking face. Although I do think it's like a remold of of uh, Legends class Sharp Shot. I don't know. Either way, it's a pretty good looking figure. Um. So there you have uh, Power of the Primes uh, slash, and stay tuned uh, for uh, more awesome video reviews that I will do in the future or any um. Or any uh, uh, trailer reaction videos, much like the uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom video. I will do more, and stay tuned for the next video, which I will reveal for the first time my face. This is Carson. This is your boy Carson saying, out. Bye-bye.